Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Uh, I just recently did a video on uh, General Pad Pocket. It's an old legacy tool. It's going away. I just noticed they call it legacy now. And, um, I have very fond memories of it. I remember when it first came out a long time ago and how absolutely powerful it was. It still is. Absolutely incredible tool. So uh, Siemens isn't going to leave you high and dry. They have what's called emboss and offset emboss. So I'm going to go into emboss. And with that, uh, you pick the curves that you want to emboss. Now in this case, I'm just going to say connected curves. I'm going to pick this outer band. And then you pick the face. So this is very similar to the general pad and pocket. You can see it's already got that in there. One of the things this is good for, though, is you see I have the little manipulators I'm able to grab and move, do what I want to do. I can also change the angles on these things. Look at that. Thing of beauty, right? Um, and you can see from here where my draft is coming from. I have from my end cap, from my selected faces. I can do a datum, however I want. These are my draft methods. I have surface draft, isocline, true draft, so you can play around with this to, uh, to, get, the, to get to the draft that you need. And then uh, you have some free edge trimming. I'll cover this another time. Anyway, um, so you can see this does an incredible job. Very, very powerful tool. Now, um, I'm going to select OK. Some of the other options that I have as well. Let me come in here. I'm going to say Make Current Feature. I'm going to make a datum plane. I'm going to take this guy. And I'm just going to move this down. We'll say, yeah, it should be good. Right about there. Drag this out. Drag this out. Just to make it easy to pick, come back to my emboss, make current feature. I'm going to double click on it. Now you'll also see here, I can take this in, instead of doing a direct offset, I can specify datum plane. So you now, as you can see, it goes to that datum plane. Um, this is really nice because it goes right up to that plane. I can also do a, a translate. Um, and with that translate, you'll notice the end cap is still off that datum plane, but it's now being offset from that datum plane. So I have a lot of options here to get the shape that I want. Again, the drafting functions, I can specify draw directions. This is a really cool uh, uh, setting for uh, convexity. So if I have something like, um, you know what, let's just do this. Let me go file new, create a new file. I'm going to throw a sketch down on this plane. And I'm just going to throw a line out there. And I'm going to finish that out. I'm going to make an extrusion. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a, another sketch. We'll pick this plane here. And I'll just throw a circle in there. What the heck? Finish that out. As you can see, this is going in both directions, right? It's it's coming off on one side, coming off on the other side. With my emboss, I pick my curve, pick my surface, and let's see here. We'll say plane of section, right? We don't want to go to the surface in this case. And then now you can see this is nice because it gives you um, a fairly accurate representation of uh, having a stamped uh, midplane like that. On a, on a surface. So that emboss does a lot of really great things, right? Doing something like this could be a little tricky. Um, applying the fillets, you know, you got to be kind of careful when you apply the fill or the blends. You want to make sure you pick all the edges to apply the blends to. But you can see it does a really nice job. So that's the emboss. Uh, one thing I wish it did is still applied the, uh, the blends to the edges, kind of like the general pad pocket, but it doesn't, which is fine. Now, uh, the other version... Let me switch window. Let me go back here. The other tool that I want to talk about is, let's do this. Oh, that's right. I have uh, all these crazy capabilities now with the undos I have to talk about in another video. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a curve. Okay, I want to put a curve on the surface. So I'm going to do a curve. And uh, let's do, let's just, just do an ISO curve. One and... There we go. Just do one right in the middle there. And oh, actually, I got all three. Anyway, so I'm going to do my offset emboss. Now I'll go back home, come here, offset emboss. So what is my body? This is my body. What is my curve or path to follow? That is my curve or path to follow. And I can reverse this. And I can pull this up. So based off of that one curve, 
I can do all sorts of great things, okay, as you can see here. Now, you'll notice I have what's called a side offset. Okay, so the side offset, if I come in here and say I want this to be 5, that gives me my, uh, basically my draft angles. So let me go to 15, make it bigger. You don't have the ability to specify the actual uh, value, draft value here, but um, as you can see, you know, if you're building ramps or you're doing something along those lines, maybe you don't need to specify the, the, those values. Maybe you just, uh, you know, a little distance comes in, select OK, and you can see it puts that shape in, gives me exactly what I want, and it's absolutely brilliant. So that offset emboss works off of a curve on that surface to give you that, uh, that emboss shape, as you can see, in this case, what I have. So if you are um, in any way... Uh, dealing with something, you know, with uh, having to push a shape into a surface or, um, you know, you saw the other other options that I had. The emboss and offset emboss do really great jobs. And again, the one thing that they don't have, as you see, they don't have the ability to uh, put the fillets on as I did before. It's uh, definitely not a deal breaker. These are absolutely incredible tools. Um, big fan. Use them. Um, actually, I do use them uh, quite considerably. This is almost like being able to make a top hat section, and uh, um, it, it just doesn't. It does does a nice job. I, I wish you would have the ability to do a draft on these walls, um, but uh, as it stands, you don't. But uh, being able to just simply offset the top is good enough for me as well. So anyway. Um, Hope that helps. If uh, you learned anything, like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Steve, Class A Surfacing. Take care.